Hi, this is Amy from paperandspool.com and I'm back here today with my day seven. So day six I had just uh, punched right into the holes a uh, six by eight photo. And so on the back I'm going, I had this little transparency ready. I think I'm gonna change how this works. I'm not, oh actually I have a great idea. Um, I might keep that yet. So what I'm gonna do first Whenever I have something ready first and then I come back later to add something to it, I like to connect them first before I start doing anything too crazy. And so I'm just going to take my adhesive and get all the way around here. And then I'm going to line these up, making sure that I'm going the correct way because sometimes there's a little bit of room for trimming and you have to make them match. And this one does need a little bit of trimming. So I'm just gonna grab my trimmer. I once made the mistake of trimming on a not even surface and like with most mistakes, once you do it once, you never do it again, right? Hopefully. That's, that's, I mean, that's the goal. <laughs> and the bottom here. So the nice thing about this rotary trimmer is that it has a little bit of a guide ledge that you can kind of tuck it, tuck the page into, and then you're good to go. And I'm just going to use my six hole punch again here. This is slightly more challenging if you have already punched like I did, but I managed to, to hit the hole there. So that's good. And I'll put it in here like this. Now what I was going to do, I had this with white all the way over here, but I think what I'm going to do instead, I'm going to actually take this off and I'm going to attach it to the transparency instead which means I'm going to have to come up with an idea for the back, but I am willing to, to do that. So I will slide this right along here. And I'm just going to trim the transparencies. I often make the same size as the page protectors and not the six by eight photo. So I'm just gonna trim about uh, just an eighth of an inch or so off of both sides here so that it matches the size of the photo. And then I'm going to take that white and this is a great time to measure, Amy. Please measure. Well, two inches. Okay, so I'm gonna just cut a little two inch strip here from the plain white that I had the photo attached to. You can see I was reusing some stuff from yesterday here. And then I'm gonna put that here on the back. Whenever I'm attaching something like this, I don't know about you, if I really want something to stick together, I feel like more adhesive is better. But that's a very unscientific approach, so. Don't, don't necessarily take my word on that. There we go, okay. So now I've just increased that transparency size a little bit and I'm gonna hole punch this one, making sure to land it as centered as possible. And then I've got, got it going all the way across there. So this is kind of a neat look I've never done anything like that before. I, you can see I had a whole bunch of other supplies here that I kind of had in mind I might be using. Um, I am still going to go ahead and add a little bit of a gold star here with the seven. And on the back here, I'm going to take it off to do this. I'm just going to write with my thickers. I have these really fun little thickers. These are from a really, really old kit. 
I'm, I'm not even sure. Maybe the 2013? Just a really cute little font there. I really like that font. Great combination. Um, nothing here is quite what I was looking for in terms of a phrase sticker. Okay, so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna add my journaling here underneath the word Advent on the back. So this uh, little advent calendar was given to me by my mom. It's from Ann Voskamp. It's the, oh my goodness, now I'm going to get the name wrong. The Wonder of the Greatest Gift, I think. And each door, you have a little book and it opens and the tree is like paper art and it comes right up. The Max's face when he first saw it was just priceless. It was so cute. So you open it up and there's the little tree and each day you get a little paper ornament to hang on the tree and then the final day will be a star for the top and there's a little reading to go along with each one, um, a little Bible reading and then a little like devotional and we've been doing them together as a family and it's based on like the Jesse tree, so following the story of Christ through from creation all the way through to the birth of Christ, which is what my family did when I was small. My mom had built a big Jesse tree out of felt. So it's really special to have this one that we can do all together. And I had typed my journaling because I was going to put it on the back of this tag. But now that things have gone in such a totally different direction, I'm going to see if I can write it here on the back. Okay, so I ended up changing the journaling a little bit from what I had typed out and uh, it says something a little bit different now, but I am going to use this little joy piece down at the bottom if I don't wreck it. Oh no, it's too big. Okay, I'll save that for another day. So maybe I'll just go with a tiny, tiny, tiny little star because I do have a few of those here. And there we go, day seven. So a larger picture, a little bit of a transparency, and then with advent and journaling on the back. So something a little bit different for today, which is kind of a fun way to have another day into the, into the album. Thanks for joining me today, and I will see you, oh, I'll just move that a little bit here so you can get a better look. Um, thanks for joining me again today, and hopefully I'll see you again next week.